Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, a very cool spot. My god, does it ever feel good to have uh, Photospheres back? That is really, really fantastic. So anyways, here we are in a place that I've got to figure out where it is and for me this one is real tricky. We've got a lot of white houses, a lot of earth, a lot of jaggedy things that are sticking out. I feel like, I, I don't know for what, I don't, I don't really know what I feel. I feel like this could be somewhere like in some kind of like the Canary Islands or something like that. This could be something very dry. It could be uh, around here. I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like this isn't that bad of an idea. Like I feel like I'm wrong guessing here, but you know what, I just will, but, you know, there's, no, this is like a really vacation-y, uh, you know what, whatever, I'm gonna guess right here, I think I'm, no, we're gonna guess like up here, yeah, like, we're gonna guess right, right up there, I think I'm wrong, definitely, but, I, I don't know, something about like an island off the coast of Morocco just feels right, knowing what I think I know about the Canary Islands, like they're a very vacation destination, I don't really feel like it, but this to me looks like an island off the coast of Morocco, so I'm gonna guess it. Of course, we could be maybe uh, like an island over here or something, but I'm gonna still make the guess where I guessed. And the answer was, oh, a Greek island. Okay, I didn't think that at all, but uh, there you go. That is very cool. You were on a uh, Greek island over here. There you go. That's pretty much the shape that we saw. That's for sure. And uh, there you go. That's where it is in the world. Is there a name for it? Oh, yeah. There's a place that's close to it. Uh, Phoenicia is also a place that's close to it, and is there a name for the place? Uh, the Architect's Villa. Oh my god, this is where Neo goes in the Matrix. In the Matrix, the Architect. There you go, my god, that is uh, a spooky place right there. Alright, 3694. Awesome. Alright, here we are in today's Daily Challenge location, and my goodness, what a cool place this is. Seems like a lot of people are having a great time uh, relaxing, hanging out on some sort of, this is like a vacation spot to me, I bet you everyone who's around here at least enjoying some sort of vacation. I see somebody here reading what looks to be uh, a book, well, I mean, if it's not a book, then they're probably not reading, uh, whatever that is, but they're holding some kind of a brown slab, and uh, looking out over the beautiful ocean lake, water, uh, who knows what that is, but I mean, just look how awesome uh, this place look. It's a really quite beautiful, definitely an awesome place to be. Now, this is the day's daily challenge location, which means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. Put your guesses down in the description below, in tom not the description, sorry, the comment section below, and in tomorrow's video's comment section, I will announce the winner, the person that gets closest. Now, also in tomorrow's video, I am going to make a guess as to where I think it is. Regardless of that, uh, I'm still going to, I mean, announce the winner, but I think I'm going to do pretty terribly because I don't have to actually you know what I think I do know where this is now that I think about it. So maybe I am going to do okay. Hopefully some of you guys guess close. Now, there are no prizes to win, but if you're interested in winning glory, then tell me where in the world do you think we are right now? Well, okie dokie, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today it is a viewer challenge, as it always is. Today it's a viewer challenge by someone new to sending in viewer challenges. That is one by Surter123, or uh, Sertree, or like Sertra, I'm not 100% sure, S-E-R-T-R-E-123. Actually, that kind of rhymes if you say it like that, S-E-R-T-R-E-123. I like, I like it that way, to be honest. I mean, I'm sure you have a way to pronounce it, but thank you so much for sending in a challenge. This one is a themed challenge. Yesterday, I believe we were all about America. Today, we are in the other A country that I like very much, Australia. Now, again, I like all countries that start with the letter A. Argentina, Austria, others. I'm sure there's some that I'm forgetting. Can I think of any off the top of my head? I can't. Huh. There's got to be a lot of Angola. Andorra. There's a lot more. Anyways, let's not name countries that start with A. Uh, anyways, lots of countries. Like them all. Australia. That's what the theme on this episode is. If you're interested in sending your own custom challenge to me, you can find uh, a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. It's down in the description below. Also, you can find a link to this challenge so you can play along yourself. Thank you so much, S-E-R-T-R-E-1-2-3, -E, for this challenge. Let's go ahead and do it. Boom. All right. 
Australia. Yeah, look, I mean, yep, looks like Australia to me. We got, uh, man, look at these houses. I mean, they're, they're, it's a bit blurry, I'm gonna, gonna admit, but... Like, uh, oh man, these are like, the, 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 they look like metal houses of all sorts of colors. They're very small. Which way should I go down the road? I feel like this way is going to lead to less blurry pictures. So I'm going to go down this way. Because I feel like once I get to this intersection, uh, the blurriness, uh, it hasn't gone away. Guala Museum Viewpoint. We should probably go towards the museum, right? Uh, nope, we can't go towards the museum. Okay, we're going towards Guala. Now this, if I... Uh, excuse me. Okay, let's click on the... Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I guess we're not going towards there, are we? All right, so we're going to go down this way. I don't know. I mean, the southern... The, yeah, I feel like we're in the middle, to be honest. Like, this is uh, this is opal country in my mind. You know, there's uh, some kind of giant fence near here to keep rabbits uh, on one side. Um, I don't know. What else is there in, in the middle of Australia? Toads? A lot of toads? Is that a thing that there is? I have no idea. Uh, to be honest, but there's uh, there's there's a lot of cool stuff down here. Opal? Opal's one of the things that I think there is. Is it Opal or is it something else? I uh, might be mistaken on that. But uh, let's go down the road, see if we can spot anything of particular interest. Not that uh, I necessarily see something. I'm gonna guess we're in... Uh, I'm gonna guess we're in Northern. Like, I think we're, 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 we're somewhere in between uh, the, the, the place that starts with a U... Uh, so, wait, I forget where it is. Yeah, this place right here. So we're in between uh, this place, which is Uluru, and uh, Darwin, which is up here. So somewhere like this. Th like, that place could have a name like Alice Springs, honestly. It could have a name like that, and I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe we're on this 5 road over here, going up, or maybe we're up even further down this way. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the 5, honestly, and say, like, this place right here, yeah, I mean, sure. Let's go. Let's click. Uh, let's click near there. See if that's right. Anything a little bit further? Nah. Let's make the guess. And the answer was right in the middle of Western. Okay, that seems to make enough sense for me. We were right near uh, Leonora. Leonora. That place looks hot as heck to me. Twenty ninety seven. So what do we got here? Oh wow, what a view! I don't know where in Australia it looks like this. Wow, I really don't know. In my mind, this is like uncharted territories. That's what like this area here looks like. This area here looks like that. Although I'm probably completely wrong. And it's like the only place I can really think. Maybe like down over here in between Sydney and Melbourne looks like this. But, I mean, it's mountainy. We got that much. Alpine National Park? Maybe. Maybe it looks like that. Do, do I think so? Or, or up here in this place? I mean, there's like mountains and stuff. But, I don't know, maybe maybe down over here is a good idea. I'm very, very uncertain, to be honest. I mean, look at these hills. All right, let's go, let's go click on some arrows so we can see what we've got here. Wildlife refugee. Okay, well, can we see some kind of wildlife refugee? A wilderness park. Avon, wilderness park. My God, you go to that park, you don't even need those people who are going to be knocking on your doors to buy beauty supplies. It's just going to be... Right there, that's Avon, right? Avon, some kind of company to come knocking at your door asking you if you want to buy some sort of cosmetic supplies. I'm, I'm not really certain of it. I'm not really sure about that. If we go forward, can we see that sign a little bit better? No, we can see it much worse. Okay, well, you can't really make out what that says, but this is like uh, this is like a, a very wildernessy area. Look at that. There's someone over here, right over here. Oh, wow, look at, look at that hat. It's got some clothes over there. Oh, boy. I don't know what this guy's doing behind that rock. I don't think we want to go over there. Who knows? Let's stay away. <laughs> He's got his pants off. We know that much. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is that is the look of a guy pissing right over here. He's pissing right behind the rock. The strange part is you shouldn't really take off your pants. I mean, there's no need, right? There ain't no need for that. Unless, uh, unless he's more of a sprayer, in which case, sure, maybe. So he'll take off his pants. Put them all the way back here. My God. Some interesting. I mean, what else do you do when you're on top of a mountain, right? You just take off your pants and enjoy the view, I guess. My God. Strange things we're finding. Sure, Avon Wilderness Park. Feels right to me. The answer, more north. Are there mountains? No, I would never have guessed that. We are in War... Wow, that's a cool, that's a cool name. Warrumbungle National Park. Warrumbungle National Park. Wow, very bizarre. Any name for the mountain? No, no name. Wow, that was uh, really interesting. Right near... 
Kuna Barad Bran. All right, that's something. 2298. What do we find here? It's a blurry picture. Again, Australia. There's a lot of blurry pictures in Australia. And uh, we got some power lines. Uh, let's go. Let's go down this way. Find out if we can see anything. This looks. Uh, I don't know. Please keep off the grass. Oh, yeah, I'll I'll try to keep off the grass. It's not that much of it, too. Welcome to Mary Ann Row. Mary Ann something. Can we go down this way? We can. All right. Well, I mean, there's not that much over here to really see. Mary Ann something. I can maybe read out the sign. No, I don't think I can. So we can't go on the grass. Mary Ann doesn't want us on the grass. Now, are we going to go through all of the states, or are we just going to go on some of them? I think we're only going to go on some of the states. I don't know. Maybe we're going to be in all of them. Maybe I'm going to guess this is Queensland. I think I think that's probably right. This is this is Queensland. This is this is like right around right around here, right? The last one we were up here. Yeah. Now we're going to be Queensland. We're going to do somewhere different. We already went to Western. I'm not going to guess it again. I'm going to guess this is going to be somewhere like that. What do we got? We got Tennant Creek and Three Ways. All right. Sounds like a great place to go. Obviously, we're not going to go to Tennant Creek. I mean, maybe if we were fans of Doctor Who, get it? I don't even know. Is that a joke? Is is there a person who was named David Tennant? I never watched Doctor Who. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to any Doctor Who fans out there. I've never watched the show. Uh, I'm not going to. It's just, you know, I I like I can live a happy life without watching Doctor Who, and I don't want to get into it. Because it's very hard to watch, uh, legitimately, where I live. So, there's no point in getting into it. If it was on Netflix, I'd watch it. If it was easy to watch, then I would get into it. But it's not worth getting into if uh, if I'm not going to be able to enjoy it. So, there you go. That's why I'm not going to watch Doctor Who. Because it's not easy to watch. So, I will never watch it. And it's the kind of thing, you know, if I hear something's really good, uh, then I'm less prone to watching it. Uh, because if, if it's not easy to watch, then how am I going to watch it? But uh, then again, you know, here's, here's something. I didn't like Breaking Bad. I mean, here's, here's the thing. I might have not given it a fair shake. I didn't like season one of Breaking Bad, and then that made me never want to watch this show again. I hear it gets better, but season one, I was... I mean, I didn't hate it, but it wasn't very interesting. I've seen a lot of season ones of other shows I've been much more interested in. You know, on Netflix, something like Orange is the New Black, season one, I liked a lot more. Uh, House of Cards, season one, I liked a lot more. Um, even like Mad Men and oh, some other show on Netflix. All of Trailer Park Boys, although I've watched all of that. I really like Trailer Park Boys. If that's, I think season eight is really good. I don't really like the third movie or any of the other weird other stuff they do. All the swear net and the Christmas specials and that stuff. Not good. I don't like that. But, uh, oh, Northern. Okay, this time we were in Northern Territories, 2184. But uh, I will say that I'm a big, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, the, the seasons of Trailer Park Boys. I think they're really good. Where is this? This one's going to be hard to guess, isn't it? Um, no idea. It's on like a river or something. It's, there's, a, there's a dude here. He's got a laptop. His friend. Here's the thing. He's searching on. He's got, oh my God. There's people, there's people in Australia love removing their clothing. Clothing optional. It's the whole country. It's clothing optional. To be honest, you know, from what I've heard of Australia, it seems like a kind of place where clothing is least optional. I mean, I guess it's hot, right? But, like, you hear about Australia, you hear about all these, you know, bugs and spiders and snakes and shit. Yeah, that's pretty bad. You want to keep on your clothes. Let's keep, keep the bugs out. So, I think it's probably a good idea to keep them on, but, hell, maybe on a hot... I mean, this guy, there you go. he's got no shoes on. He's just chilling out on a branch on his laptop. I don't know what he's doing on it. He's not like getting internet. Is he writing some documents? Maybe he's like a surveyor. He's got like a reflective vest. Why is he wearing a jacket? Is it cold out? Seems way too hot to be wearing what this guy's wearing. Also, why is it reflective? What's going to run into him? Well, maybe in case he gets stranded here, right? And like it becomes nighttime and... You know, he'll have to sleep on the shore, then a rescue boat's going to come by and shine the flashlight on the shore, and if he's got the reflective vest, they're going to see him. Obviously, that means we are in Southern. Where? Right right on this big river system, right there. Ah, oh, Miller's Creek. Fantastic. Western again. Uh, the, the answer, 
This very small area right over here. 14 mile pool. All right, it's a big pool. 1987. Finally, we find ourselves in. Oh, this has got to be southern. Yeah, that's some southern looking stuff to me. This, I mean, legitimately, you're in the middle of nowhere right now. We don't even see a person. We see a house or something. I see a building. Maybe a vehicle. Like a fast going, like, um, uh, Mad, Mad Max. Is that what I'm thinking of? Mad Max uh, style, uh, desert buggy right over here. There you go. It's got a lot of footprints or paw prints or divots in the ground, so I guess it rains every once in a while here. Uh, you got some, uh, no, that's not, I don't know if that's trash. It's got some weird, like, clay discs, maybe some trash, some leaves. Uh, the sun is setting, very blue skies, trees. The, the Yeti is right over here. We got the Yeti and this house. All right, well, we're going to go with Southern on this one. Where in Southern? A little bit higher, somewhere like, uh, like right here. So make the guess, and the answer was northern once again. We find ourselves on near Plenty River, near the Plenty Highway. Well, okay. Plenty, 2383. So, that was our tour of Australia. My God, crisscrossing all over the place. A was western. B was uh, up here in New South Wales. Then we had uh, beautiful northern up here. Then we went back to western. And then finally, back to Northern. Very, very cool indeed. Thank you so much for the challenge. 10 and 949. So at least I passed the score test. Although, that doesn't really count. Because, you know, I, I already knew it was all Australia. So really, the, the, the score isn't very good at all. You know, there's no when there's no cities involved, it's get, getting a lot of points is a lot harder. Uh, and uh, as proven, I cannot tell the difference between any Australian states. Because I got them all wrong. Every single one. I didn't get a single state right. That's just my Australian luck. You know, the old uh, the old trope when we would play uh, normal maps was that uh, I would it would always be Western Australia or Queensland, and I would always choose it wrong. Whenever I would choose Western, it would be Queensland. And whenever I would choose Queensland, it would be Western. My God. Those were the days. Those were the days. But thankfully, due to uh, people sending me challenges all the time, and those, uh, those are really cool, I don't often find myself in the middle of nowhere in Western Australia or Queensland, so it was a nice refreshing take to be back there once again. Hopefully, you guys have uh, enjoyed this uh, this episode. My God, there's a lot of Australian locations. Six to be exact. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. As always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one. Bye.